this is a continuation of previous lectures in last lectures we have studied about newton's laws of motion and today we are going to start here that is the circular motion so let's recap the things which we have started earlier in plane polar coordinates so in plane polar coordinates we have used and derived these things place polar coordinate system we have derived first thing the velocity in plane polar coordinates it was given by v vector is equal to r dot r cap plus r theta dot theta cap and second the acceleration a double c e and the acceleration was defined as a vector is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot square r cap plus r theta double dot plus 2 r theta dot r dot this is theta cap so these was the things which we have derived in the very first lecture of this series that the velocity and acceleration polar coordinates so it was if there was one an origin o and there was a path so if i am here at point a so this direction was the radial direction r cap and the direction which is perpendicular to r cap this it was theta cap so here the r cap and theta cap both were changing with respect to o if r cap and theta cap both were changing then we have also seen that d r cap by dt was theta dot theta cap and d theta cap by dt was minus theta dot r cap so this was rate of change of unit vector of radial direction and this was rate of change of theta direction the, the direction in theta component so let us comment on the velocity of the plane polar coordinates so if there is r theta dot term present so this theta dot theta cap represents the tangential direction okay so now let's have two different things and from there we will have a proper understanding of radial and the uh, angular part so this was the thing which we get so let us take the two conditions the first one let us take that theta is equal to some constant and if theta is equal to constant this implies that d by dt of theta that is theta cap theta dot is also zero so from here the velocity is r cap only in r cap direction that the velocity is radial velocity is radial you can see in this picture so here this theta angle is constant and this is the radial direction r cap so the velocity is only in this radial directions which is which is r dot r cap let us take an another case the second one where the radial part is constant when r is equal to constant so this implies that dr by dt which is r dot is equal to zero then the velocity turns out to be r theta dot theta cap then the velocity is only in that uh, tangential component and the motion lies on the arc of the circle the motion lies on arc of the circle so let us see this in a picture so if we have a let us say a coordinate system so here we have this r is equal to constant and the velocity is in theta cap direction so when r is equal to constant so this is the case for circle so for circle r is equal to constant that the radial distance is constant and the particle moves on the arc of, arc of the circle and the tangential velocity v theta is given by r theta dot and its direction is theta cap so these were the things which we have seen in for circle that the radius that r part is constant if r is constant 
if r is constant and if the center is at origin that is the important thing so if center is not an origin then we have different def uh, definition to define the circle and r dot is zero so if r is constant r dot is zero r double dot is zero the, it means that the radial velocity is zero and the tangential velocity is r theta dot so let us define that theta dot here it is called the angular velocity so v theta is equal to r omega so this was the velocity for a circle let us check what will be the acceleration acceleration so we have derived in plane polar coordinates that a r the radial component of acceleration was r double dot plus r theta sorry minus r theta dot square so it will be zero minus r omega square so this is minus r omega square so this means that the radial velocity acceleration a r is minus minus of r omega square so this is called the radial acceleration radial acceleration and it is the direction it is towards center center of the circle so the radial acceleration is this so and there was one more acceleration that is called the tangential ex acceleration so let us see a theta was given by r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot so we can write it as r d theta by dt plus 2 r theta dot is 0 r dot is 0 into theta dot so this is r d theta by dt we can take this r inside because for circle r is equal to constant so this will be d by dt of r theta dot this is nothing but d by dt of v so this is a theta a and this was v was of v, this is v theta so this acceleration this a t is all a theta is also known as tangential acceleration so this tangential acceleration is arise arises due to change in velocity so if there is change in not sir not velocity but speed if there is change in speed then there will be a one more acceleration that is called tangential acceleration so let me rewrite it so this was the things till now which we have studied that the radial acceleration is minus r omega square and this direction is towards the center and the tangential acceleration is at that is given by d y dt of v theta that is the tangential velocity so it is called the tangential acceleration and this arises when there is a change in speed if v theta changes then there is a tangential acceleration and this we can write rewrite this acceleration uh, uh, this radial acceleration is minus of v square by r also because v is equal to r omega v is equal to r omega so from here you can substitute omega is v by r and you will get get this expression that the radial acceleration is minus v square upon r also so this was the case of circular motion till now which we have not defined whether the circular motion was uniform or non-uniform so let us see the case where the, there is a uniform circular motion so so for uniform circular motion the velocity is constant that's why it is called the uniform so the acceleration at this point is in this direction and it is given by a r that is minus of v square by r so uh, be sure check the direction is in this direction and if we are at the upper highest point of the circle in uniform acceleration motion then the radial direction is this way and the velocity is in this way v then the acceleration is again given by this direction so it is minus v square upon r so if you are at this point c let them call b and a then the velocity will be in this direction and acceleration will be in this direction that is minus v square upon r and similarly for this point also the velocity is in this direction and the acceleration is minus v square upon r in this direction so you can conclude a different point of the motion uh, let's called a b c d so at different points a b c d you see the acceleration at a is in this direction b is in this direction c is in this direction and d is in this direction so this is d a b c
so acceleration is changing its direction all over the motion so acceleration is not constant in circular motion do remember this point so a is a is not constant in uniform circular motion uniform circular motion so this was the case for uniform circular motion you must check that these velocity sorry speed v v and this v and this v all were same what happens when there is a non uniform circular motion so let us check non uniform circular motion here so for non uniform circular motion the tangential acceleration that is dv by dt is not equal to 0 because v is here not equal to some constant when the velocity is not constant then there will be an tangential acceleration so this tangential ac acceleration may be in or out the direction of the velocity this depends upon whether the v is increasing or decreasing but the velocity is de decreasing or increasing so i just i just wrote the statement which i said that the acceleration may be in or out of the direction of velocity depending upon the velocity in increasing or decreasing so in figure if this is the origin then the tangential acceleration will be always towards the circle that is minus v square by r at all the points this is v square by r here also minus v square by r here also minus v square by r but the velocity will be at different points here will be it will be v1 or let's say v2 here v3 here and v4 here so depending upon the velocity that v1 is increasing within the motion or v1 is decreasing there is one more acceleration that is tangential acceleration in the uh, motion so th that tangential acceleration and this radial acceleration will give you the net acceleration of non uniform motion so we should we should have the information about the velocity whether it is decreasing or increasing so it will depends so it will uh, give you the net acceleration in non uniform circular motion so this was the basic idea of uniform and non uniform circular motion so till now we have studied the velocity and acceleration in circular motion so in next we will have some problems on this uh acceleration part tangential and radial acceleration and velocity we will have some example so till now this is this much thank you